Hello YouTube and welcome to Jang's Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum, Chu. Hi! Hello there and if you're new to the channel, we do what, Mum? Cooking. <laughs> yes, we do cooking. Also, Chinese takeaway food and traditional Chinese food as well. Or takeaway cooking, yes. <laughs> I just said that, Mum. Yeah, takeaway cooking. <laughs> anyway, I want to start off today by giving a massive shout out to Misty Ricardo's Curry Kitchen. Ricardo is Richard, isn't it? That no, no, name? no, 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 no. Richard. No, that's, that, Richard's the author, but his YouTube channel is called Misty Ricardo's oh, Curry Kitchen. Oh, all right. Yeah. Misty Ricardo's Curry Kitchen. Yeah. Oh, Misty Ricardo's Curry Kitchen. One more all time. Right. Misty Ricardo Curry Kitchen. There we go. Anyway, thank you very much for these. Two books. Two books. Volume two one and volume oh, no, two. No, 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 sorry, like that, like that. Two books. <laughs> yeah, two, two books. books. Yeah, two books. Two, <laughs> two books. books. Volume one and volume two. These are available on Amazon, so if you want to go check them out, his channel is actually really, really good, and his recipes look absolutely fantastic. It is, yeah. Um, they look amazing. We're really looking forward to trying yeah. the recipes out in this we book. We will try it out. At a minute, we will be uh, our annual holiday. Oh my God, they've got okra. Oh, one of my favorite vegetable okra. Yeah. This Carried one. Over. Huge in Malaysia. Okra is really good for uh, digestion. If you eat it, if you've got constipate, it just boom like that the next yeah, day. Yeah. Yeah, slip your intestine. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on? Um, thank you very much for that. What is on today's video, Mum? Cooking. No! <laughs> yeah, <that's okay. laughs> Why is that your answer to everything now? Yeah. No, no. Chinese takeaway cooking. No, no, no. What, what is it? What's the video? video today yeah uh cooking rice yes okay so many of you keep asking how to cook rice so what we're going to show you is exactly how we do it and i know we're going to get thousands of comments below from people going oh that's not how you really do it this is how we do it you can do it in another way there are thousands of videos out there that tell you how to cook rice they're shit they are <laughs> You what? the truth. Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> yeah. What? Boil what? it and stir it and strain it for 10 minutes. Your rice is not going to cook, mate. No. no. Just watch us. You learn how to cook your rice. Perfect every time. I mean, long story short is we use a rice cooker. Like what Westerner is cooking their, ri uh, their bread under a grill? You buy a toaster. If it's everything you have every day, you use a piece of equipment for it. Everyone in our family, in Malaysia, Hong Kong, Brunei, China, they all use a rice, rice cooker. Rice cooker. You Buy a rice in cooker. They're like, time, yes. they're like 15 pounds. I don't That's think so much easier. You cook the rice on the stove now. If you cook your rice on the stove, yeah, you can. They're not cooking. But you have to stand there and watch it. I know when I was young, I had to cook the rice, and many times I get bloody burned and got told off. <laughs> It's not a joke, I tell you. Yeah, how dare you burn yourself? Uh, not my burn myself, burn that rice. We've got no rice to eat for the evening. Oh god, that is bad, isn't it? Yeah. You were proper poor as well, weren't you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is our way of doing it. Yeah. There are thousands of ways of doing it. I'm not saying this is the best. This is just how we do it, and exactly how most takeaways do it as well. Yes. Yes. And but there are tricks that are very important for us because you can't just whack water in there you need to know exact amounts there's tricks that we use to make sure that it's right every time i'm going to show you measurement of the water and the rice the ratio the ratio is called that is called general knowledge lesson yeah okay yeah, how good is that yeah how, well, well done <laughs> get on with this yeah rice video because we've talked for ages Too much now. now and the okay. trolls are going to hate this oh no my bring it on come on yeah we love it yeah go anyway. on onto the rice. So here is a very small rice cooker. Um, when I say very small, it is, isn't it? What size yeah, it is, is it? About small. Two litres? This is, as you can tell, well used. This is our personal one we use for ourselves. Literally used every day. Um, Silvercrest, I 
think we bought this in Lidl's a couple of years ago, didn't we? Oh, my, no, I did not bought it. My, my friend gave it to me. But anyway, I think I that's it where free. it came from. So <laughs> nothing better than free stuff. If you stuff. feel like sending us a free, free Phoebe, you're more than welcome. Yeah, any we'll company out there uh, wants to give us free stuff to test, by all means. We're not going to say no. All right, so this is what it looks like. You've probably seen one of these before. This is the pot that goes inside. If you haven't used one of these, some of you are probably thinking, yeah, I know what it is, but I mean, that goes in there like that. Really important that when you use your rice cooker, this base here is dry. Bone dry, you have to. Absolutely bone dry, otherwise you can wreck your rice cooker. Now, we've, we're gonna do 500 grams, and I'd say today that that would do how many would you say, Mum? I would think about six people. It all depends on how much rice you want. Normally, people just have a handful of rice, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, for about us, this half one, of that would do. Me. Two person like that, maximum three person. It all depends. You know, the Chinese are a bit of a rice pot, really. Yeah, we do like they rice. They like don't rice they? more than any other thing. Yeah. But this I mean, one would do about minimum four. I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd say four. Yes, or minimum two four. Two for me and Mum. Yes. Um, so 500 grams now there is a trick to this you're going to have to wash your rice and um, we'll show you how to do that now it might take you three or four attempts but that's just what you do also there is a trick that you do with the rice when the water is in there we'll show you later how to do this um, the level of the water when you're ready to cook it needs to be about where that first knuckle is on your middle finger now for some reason it works with mum and it works with me We've got different size hands, but it always, and when I teach people that, it always comes out right. Granted, there's probably a millimetre or so difference in, um, what's the word, in people's fingers, but I mean, it works pretty well, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. I haven't met anyone, even with Joy Nagara's hands who gets mushy rice when they use this, or Tiny Hands who gets dry rice when they use that technique, everyone always seems to work. And I don't know why. Yeah, so always a measure of your knuckle. Yeah, but anyway, so we'll show you how to wash this. Even though I don't think you need to know, but I mean, we're going to do that anyway. Right, so here we are at the sink, and we're just going to wash it. Yep. Cold water, not hot, all right? Just get your hand in, swirl it around. You can see it's become uh, cloudy, milky. And this needs to be fairly clear. So we're going to do this two or three times. Yeah. You just literally pour it out and then... Again. You can see the second time it's not as cloudy as your first one, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, if you really want us to show you how to do it in a pan, then we will show you. But just buy a rice cooker. Honestly, it's just a thousand times better. Easier, yes. For modern life, that's the way to go. If you're really serious about Chinese cooking, yes. you need a rice cooker. It's about right now, isn't it? Well, one more time I could do it. All you're doing is trying to wash off all the starch. Right, you need to level it, yeah? Get your finger, go like wrecking it, gently wreck it, and you put it on a flat surface, and dip your finger in on the three corner, if it's about the right level. Is there nothing in there a few more drop. This actually, this actually works for any amount of rice. Yeah. The rule of thumb is, or oh, the rule of first knuckle is always the same. Right, so we've plugged it in. Uh, you've obviously got your bowl of water in there. We said till the water's clear, but it doesn't have to be fabulously clear. That's clear enough. You're just trying to get most of the starch out. In fact, if you're washing it till it's clear, you're going to be there for ages. So on goes the lid. When it's plugged in, this light will automatically come on. And now that just means that it's staying warm. When it's on this and it's cooked, then just keeping it at a safe temperature. So you can store it at that temp for a couple of hours if you wish. Um, this is the cooking button. Now, this is the part that most people um, get wrong. It's cooking. Yeah. See how easy that is. Easy peasy. You have, n and now you just leave it till it's done. Oh, you and can then, there you do go. whatever you want. You can go and dance or do a bit of joking. Ah, ia, ia, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Do a little bit of this, do a little bit of that. Whatever you like. And about 20 minutes, you come back, voila, it's cooked. You've got perfect rice. What, what, I don't understand. What just happened? What? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so uh, we'll be back in, this took about 25 to 30 minutes. Yes. And it'll be perfect. I say that, but 100% we've messed up this time. 
It's going to be goop, and if it is, I will fully share that because I think that'll be funny. <laughs> so we will be back in about half hour, won't we, Mum? Yeah, that's right. Stand by. Right, so this hair has now been finished, and all you have to do is pop the lid open, Mum. Yeah. Do the honours. Hey. All right. Yeah. Oh, See yeah. that steam? I'm not sure if that was caught on the camera, but a lot of steam comes out, so don't put your face near it. And then look how fluffy and yeah. white and lovely that is. So, um, Perfect rice. What you do is you turn it now. Yeah. We always like to turn the rice rather than just scoop out straight away. You get all the rice stick together. A lot of the people don't like it, but I just don't mind it. As long as it's rice, it doesn't matter. You see, if you turn your rice like this before you serve, it makes your rice fluffy. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And that's literally why a rice cooker is by far the best way best, to cook rice. Yeah. Now, if you want to do overnight rice, what you do is you cool this down. So basically, take it out, put it in a bowl. Isn't that right, Mum? Yeah. Put it in, in a, a bowl, bowl and then leave it for 90 minutes to cool down so it's cool enough to put yeah. into the See, fridge. Fluffy rice, <coughs> how perfect it is. Yeah, okay. And then your rice is fluffy, all right? Can I finish what I was saying now? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, put it into a bowl, spread yeah. it out so that it can cool down much quicker. Yeah. Jeez, mm. mum. Anyway. <laughs> mm. um, uh, yeah, it has to cool down within 90 minutes, otherwise it's not technically safe. And then right. you put it in the fridge in a sealed container. Yes. Overnight, and then you have overnight rice. So that's about it, isn't it, mum? It is, yeah. You know what? You know what? There's another perfect one. Every time I open the rice... Wait, hold on. Look, get, get, count up. Every time yeah. I open the rice pot, I smell that rice being cooked. Oh, what? You know what I want to? What? I like to fry an egg, get put a bowl of top. rice, put it on top with your light soya and whatever you with soya and scissor and just go out. Oh, just got, perfect. Got Glyn Wan. Um, yeah. The other day said, why do Chinese people always, what <laughs> said to me on Instagram, why do Chinese people always like um, eggs and everything? It's just lovely. Then they're awesome. Yeah. yeah. And Gokhlin is also. Yeah. Gokhlin at some point is going to be on our channel, hopefully, yes. if his schedule allows it, because he's a very busy man. Yeah. Isn't he? So, but yeah. I mean, hopefully he can make it on here. Maybe one day we'll show you a boy rice and a fry egg and a season on the top. So, oh. oh. You know what? The mm. people used to work with us. That the only thing I asked them, what would you like for today? Can I have some of your boiled rice and a fried egg? Yeah, it's true. Every day, yes. And, and shredded cucumber. Oh. oh, yes, lovely. Anyway, oh. thanks for watching, guys. That's how we do rice. Um, unfortunately, like I said, if you want it boiled by a rice cooker, <laughs> but we, if you really want us to show you how to boil it, we will. Um, but by a rice cooker, it's fifteen pounds to save yourself a hell, of, a hell of a lot of hassle. And you come up perfect rice every time. You don't get the burn, burn bottom. Is that? Can I say bottom? Yeah. Base. Yeah. You can say bottom. You know what? Say ass if you want, mum. No. Say say ass. A S S. Yeah, say it. Ass. <laughs> ass. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. Anyway, thanks for <laughs> watching, guys. If you'd like to support the channel, by all means, uh, support us on Patreon. Yeah. Also, you know who you are when we used to do the boy rice and the fry get on the top. You guys, you know who you are. I don't think we watch because we don't actually promote our our YouTube channel anymore locally. Is it? No. Oh, all right then. Sorry. But, cheers, guys, for watching. And, and I hope everybody we know and then we'll come down to see us. Yeah, um, you catch, you'll catch phrase. Yes, yeah, superstar. Happy cooking, happy eating. Brilliant. There we go. <laughs> oh, my arm! <laughs>